I'm out. Okay, would, would you listen to me, Duncan, for five minutes? I'll listen to you, Derek. Thank you. All right. There's another application which this also addresses, and one is that when you're in a car park and you're looking for the exit sign, the one thing, you, the one thing you've got is that your eyes, you look yeah. around, you're looking for that, that arrow sign. Yeah. And if you have it going red, so what happens is that when, when all the arrows are all covered in snow and you can't see any of the arrows or they, they've worn out or you can't see, you'll look down one way and you'll see the red going down the way and you'll see the, 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 the green and the blue the other way telling you that the green taking you towards the exit and the blue taking you towards mole parking. Derek, I said I'd listen to you because I didn't want to be impolite. Um, is there much more? Well, I, I, was, I haven't really finished explaining about the traffic light problem. You win the worst invention ever to be brought into Dragon's Den today. Really? Um, the prize is yours. And Derek, I'm out. Thank you. Going from the left-hand side, you look at the no-entry sides and see how easy it is for you to miss them. Derek, Derek, thank you. Thank that you. way. Derek, that way. Down there. There's a sign there, that way. It's a swift exit for Derek. These dragons don't waste time when they can't see an opportunity. Entrepreneurs entering the den make all sorts of claims for their products, but those claims have to bear up to close scrutiny. Kent-based father and son Bob and Rob Cribb thought their shed security invention would deter burglars. But was it dragon-proof? The shed safe is simple in design, manufacture and installation. It affords great protection by spanning the door frame with two steel bolts mounted through two steel plates. Do you mind if I come up and have a look? Yeah, by all means, come and have a look. Peter Jones was first to take up the mantle. If I break it with my hand, would you mind? You can certainly try. <laughs> That's pretty secure, yeah. I, I just need to have a look as well, sorry. But Theopophetus has certain form in this area. I know, I do have a reputation. I've got some terrible news. I've stolen your lawnmower, your bike. <laughs> That's not good, is it? Despite failing the Pafitas test, one rival dragon wanted to know more. Did you approach shed manufacturers? I have, and I've, I've, I've approached several shed manufacturers, and they were very keen on the idea. Excuse me, boss. They are quite keen to take the product on board. So. Why are we even having the conversation? <laughs> it's broken! I didn't use any tools. If you don't think it works, why don't you just say, Bob, I'm out. Bob, I'm out. Peter Jones did manage to break something, but it was merely the bad news. Bob and Rob, if Theo and I were to want to break into together. sheds together as a partnership, I think we've shown that we can do it in a minute. With obviously the initial strength coming from myself first. I think it's obviously slightly back to the drawing board in terms of the security aspect of it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to declare myself out. Thank you. Thank you.